Welcome back to another episode of It's Time for Beer. I'm Brandon. Now today I'm going to be reviewing a beer that a lot of people consider to be the birthplace of craft brewing. Um, New Albion Brewing started back in uh, the 70s and by the early 80s it was pretty much closed down. But they always credit Jack McAuliffe with being the, you know, the first craft brewer. He, he brought over the, the English style from when he served in the military. He brought it back over here, couldn't find anything. So he decided he was going to brew it himself because he wanted what he had over there, a more flavorful craft beer that, you know, at the time, all they had over here was, you know, your pale American lagers. So he was only brewing... Uh, a, I think he said a one barrel at a time, so this was very, very small scaled. Now this beer is a 30th anniversary celebration beer that, that Sam Adams has done in collaboration with Jack McAuliffe. Uh, they used his original recipe, which was very simple. It's basically two row pale malt and cascades. And he says that cascades are pretty much all he could get at the time because he was so small without buying massive quantities of it. And so he was one of the first brewers to ever use Cascades. It was brand new at the time, and that's all he could get because nobody wanted it. If you look at the label, this is actually a, uh, a take on the original label. I'm going to read you what's on the side of the bottle here. Jack McAuliffe's pioneering spirit paved the way for the American craft beer revolution. We're releasing this original pale ale with its distinct hop character for the first time in 30 years in honor of... Jack and his contributions to craft brewing. Cheers, Jim Cook. Now, the date code on the bottle, as with all Sam Adams beers, it's notched right into the side right here. It's notched uh, June 2013, and today is February 15th. Let's get this into a glass, and I will let you know how it looks, smells, tastes, and I'll tell you whether it's worth your money. This is an American Pale Ale. They use two row pale, three cascade editions. It's 6% alcohol by volume. It costs $8.49 for a six pack, and it's only a limited to release, so whenever they finish distributing this, that's, that's it. There's not gonna be any more. On the pour, there was a half a finger of kind of a, a very fluffy head, something you'd expect from an ale. But the carbonation is very effervescent, kind of reminiscent of a light lager. It's very pale yellow. I mean, it, it, almost, it almost looks like pee. Uh, that's, that's the color of this beer. It is, it's yellow, yellow, like straw yellow. At the very bottom of my Sam Adams glass here, uh, it's almost transparent. There's almost no color from here down. Um, but from here up, it's, it's, it's a, a more prominent yellow. It's almost crystal clear. I can't quite see all the way through. I can see my hand on the other side, but I can't see anything past that. But very, very reminiscent of a light lager, uh, even though this is an ale. All right, the aroma of New Albion. I'm going to be honest, it smells like Budweiser. Take a look at the review that I did uh, that was comparing Budweiser to Sierra Nevada's Summerfest Ale. This is nearly identical, except for the color is almost clear. I mean, it's, it's all malt. I don't get anything in this but malt. There's no hop character whatsoever. It's just malt. And it's very very reminiscent of Budweiser. All right, the taste of New Albion Ale. Cheers. Well, just like with the Sierra Nevada Summerfest Ale, this is nearly identical to Budweiser. Yeah, I don't really have a lot more to say about it than that. I, I'm, I'm trying to pull out something here, but it's 
almost identical. Like, I don't get any hop character at all. The only, really the only difference I'm getting here from this and a Budweiser is that it's creamier, only slightly, probably because it is an ale. It is made with real ingredients, not rice and corn. It does have a mouthfeel to it. So those are the differences between this and what you'd get from a Budweiser. And it doesn't have that ricey, corny twang to it. When you look at the head that forms on this, it's a creamy looking head and not an effervescent um, like soda pop head on it. And it sticks around. Now, I'm going to be honest, I was really looking forward to trying this beer because I've heard so many things about it. James Spencer from Basic Brewing has been talking about it, and um, Sam Adams, Jim Cook, you hear him talk about it all the time on the internet and on TV, but this is not living up to the hype. I'm very disappointed. It, this bottle is extremely fresh. Uh, they just started releasing this kind of in mid-January of 2013, and it is only February 15th of 2013. My beer and wine store usually takes care of their beers, so I, I don't believe that the hop flavor character whatever has, has left this in that short amount of time, but I, I honestly don't think there was any in it to begin with. It's just It just tastes like a, a Budweiser. All right, the verdict on New Albion Ale. If you want to try it, try it. Just for the right to say that you've tried the beer that started the craft beer revolution in America, you need to try this. But I'm definitely glad that I did not get the entire six pack because I was very tempted to get the entire six pack based on the, the reputation that's been, been building online. And, and in all of the beer blogs and the, the beer um, podcasts and whatnot. But, you know, it's, it's not really living up to the hype. My rating for this beer is, I'm going to give this one a, a B. It's not what I was expecting. I'm very, I'm pretty disappointed in the flavor of this beer. But I can say that I tried the beer that started the craft beer revolution. So... Is it worth the money? At eight forty nine for a six pack, when most other Sam Adams beers are, if you get them at a beer and wine store, you're going to get a better price at around seven ninety nine, or sometimes even less, depending. Uh, or you can get a you know twelve pack for thirteen. So um, eight forty nine is is a bit steep for this. I can get a a six pack of Budweiser for five dollars. So, is it worth the money? No, it's not worth the money. I would recommend that you get one just so you can say that you've tried it. So, that's my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking the link above here and leave me some comments. What do you think of this beer? Did, did I get it right? Um, maybe I got a bad batch. I don't know. So let me know what you think, but until then, drink what you like, enjoy what you drink, and I will see you next time. Cheers.